Hey everyone, it's Kyle. Um, I had planned on doing this video as soon as I got home from work and uh, one of the dogs is sick and um, I had to run to the store so I'm kind of hurried now because I don't have much battery left on my phone and um, I wanted to get this update up here because it's been, I don't know, almost a month since I did my last update which is not like me at all. So, um, okay. I was not completely honest with you guys when I said that we were taking a break from um, fertility TTC after the first failed IUI. We actually went ahead and did a second IUI on the 15th of August and I found out yesterday that um, it was also unsuccessful. So um, in comparison to the first, I... I don't know how to say this. Um, I don't want to say that this ever gets easier, but for me, you almost become numb to it. And this one was, um, I don't know, I felt like everything about this whole IUI was off from the timing to um, the procedure itself didn't go as smooth as the first time. And I feel like there's a disconnect between me and my doctor, and I'm not exactly sure what it is, but um, everything about it just didn't feel comfortable to me and I didn't feel confident in it so I don't know um I want you guys to know that I make these videos because I hope that one day somewhere someone out there is going to get either they're going to learn something from me from my experience or they'll find comfort in my video that they're not the only person feeling this way and um, that's the reason why I do this I don't do this to sit here and tell you you know to talk about myself. I just, um, I feel that it's important for me to let you guys know the raw emotions behind all of this and, um, how I cope with it on a daily basis, which by no means means that it's right for you. You'll find your own way to get through something like this. But, um, in my personal life, I felt that I needed to keep this IUI to myself because, the first one was so much harder for me, you know, not just hearing a doctor call me and tell me that the um, test was negative, but um, having to tell everybody that it was negative and that it failed was really, really hard for me. So that is why I kept this video or kept this to myself besides coming on here and letting everyone know what was going on. But um, God, I feel like my thoughts are all over the place and I can't really get out what I want to say. But, um, what else? What else? Uh, the way I'm coping with this, honestly, has been, um, I still am distancing myself from a few people. I mean, no one in particular, but, um, in my personal life, there's a baby shower that's in the near future of a really good friend of mine and, you know... I, I'm just at this point where I can't be there, and she doesn't understand that, and she's really hurt by it, and I might lose a friendship over it, but everyone in the entire world goes through some point in their life where something is going to change them, and, you know, this is mine. I've had a couple of tragic things happen in my lifetime where it did change me and I've become a stronger person for it and a better person for it but um, at the same time I'm at a really really dark place in my life and um, you don't really know one day to the next how you're going to be feeling about something I mean some days are better than others and some days aren't and when it comes down to getting through that you just find the healthiest way for you to cope and for me that's just kind of distancing myself from people and if I'm judged for that or if people don't accept that then it's not really my loss I'm dealing with this as I can so if people find that it's hard to talk about this stuff um, I do suggest seeing a therapist and if you're curious if I am seeing one I'm not um, not because I think that it's weak. In fact, I th I think it's the complete opposite. If you can sit there and open up to a complete stranger about the issues you're facing in life, I think that's incredibly courageous. And the only reason I haven't seeked therapy yet is because at this point, I feel like I'm fighting myself knowing that this 
period of my life is temporary and one day something is going to happen you know I'm either going to get pregnant or a doctor is physically going to tell me this is not going to happen for you so until then if people want to pass judgment on me on how I'm choosing to like deal with this on a day-to-day -day basis then they can go ahead and I just don't I don't care um but other than that um our plan from here on out is at what are we going into September from September until 2013 we are just stopping all fertility medication fertility treatments and you know we'll still continue to try naturally but um, I'm just over the effects of Clomid you know the first month I really thought I had it pretty easy and the second month was just horrid like the hot flashes were awful and the moodiness set in and I just did not feel like myself on it whatsoever so we both really 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 need a break and I'm not you know keeping any information from you guys this time we really really are taking a break and we're looking forward to it and just kind of you know regrouping and putting all of this behind us and moving forward so that's where I'm at right now I really honestly can't say if I'm going to be making any more videos from this point on, um, I'm not going to have a whole lot to update about, so I feel like I should just play it by ear. Um, there were a couple tags I wanted to do that seemed fun, so I might do that, but other than that, um, we are definitely going to take a break, a well-needed break, and I appreciate everyone that reached out to me to um, check how I was and you know just ask how I was doing and where I was and wondering um, if I was okay so I really do appreciate that and like I always say in every video without the support of this community I honestly don't know where I'd be or who I'd be so thank you for that and um, hopefully I'll talk to you guys soon and if not I will be watching and I hope everyone gets their BFPs soon